Our technology is called electrocatalysis. Basically what we're doing is we're taking CO2 and then renewable electricity as an input as well as water. And we can use that the same way that you might split water to produce hydrogen. You're actually splitting CO2 and producing new carbon products out of that CO2. Electricity grids are getting cleaner. The price of solar electricity is getting much cheaper. There's a lot of opportunities to use that clean electricity to solve the CO2 problem that we have. We've developed some of the most efficient catalysts uh, for, for this process. So we can generate uh, CO and formic acid at uh, near perfect selectivities and we've achieved some of the lowest over potentials, meaning that it's very energy efficient. We don't have to put a lot of excess uh, energy into the system in order to convert CO2 into new products because ultimately we need to make sure that we are still energy efficient because uh, otherwise nobody is going to want to pay for something that's extremely expensive. We're taking advantage of the fact that uh, electricity prices are going to get better and better. It's going to get cleaner and cleaner. Uh, and so moving into the future, I think being able to take energy from many different electricity sources, not just solar, but anything like wind, hydro, geothermal, anything clean is a big advantage of using uh, electrocatalysis. For me, uh, one thing that I always want to see as uh, somebody that's been doing research is, first of all, doing research on things that are going to make uh, the world a better place. But second of all, not letting that just sit in the lab and not go anywhere. So this is a really exciting uh, competition to bring technology uh, from the lab that's at a very early stage and accelerating the, the time that it takes to scale up and get to somewhere where it can actually be deployed and be useful. Uh, because ultimately anybody who uh, works on these sorts of problems really just wants to see it being used.